Okay, welcome back guys. We're going to continue the uh, CDO series here with uh, upgrading of the FTD device. So in the, in the last video, um, you know, we saw that uh, CDO can save a lot of time when it comes to upgrading devices, especially um, when it comes to upgrading, you know, bulk devices, a lot of devices at one time. Uh, you know, most customers are very happy, um, you know, with both the upgrade process and, the you know, the time that it saves when upgrading, you know, those ASAs. So now we're going to focus on FTD and we're going to upgrade, I believe, our, our Branch 3 FTD V. So... If I had a lot of devices in here, again, I could go to filter right here. I could look at my FTD devices, filter those out. I could even look at uh, FTD um, software versions. So maybe I have, you know, I want to, you, you get a, a P cert or something and you need to look and make sure, see, you know, hey, I'm on a version that's, uh, that's got a vulnerability. I need to patch all these versions or something like that. Uh, if you had, devices on different versions so I could filter by that version just see those devices but I'm going to select this device I'm going to come over to upgrade in my uh, details plane on the right and you can see here I could schedule this upgrade I'm just going to execute this upgrade right now but I could schedule it I'm going to use CDO image repository. Remember that to do this, um, this is not going through the secure device connector. So your device needs to have direct communication to CDO. Um, we're not proxying the, uh, this device uh, or this image download via the um, secure device connector. So this firewall needs to have uh, internet access out to CDO to pull down this image. So I'm gonna go to 6.5. You see I got 6.6 .6 available, then I got maintenance releases in 6.4. Remember that currently with FTD, you can't go directly to a, a maintenance release. Um, you've gotta go to the base image first. So I've gotta go to 6.5 first. Once I get to 6.5, I will be able to see these maintenance releases like I see in 6.4. Um, that's going to change here pretty soon with 6.6.1. We'll be able to go uh, directly to maintenance releases. But for now, I've got to go to the base 6.5 first, then I could do maintenance images. So I select that, hit continue. It shows me FTD uh, system upgrade here. Um, I can go ahead and say I could copy the image if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to just stage this for a later upgrade, or I could copy the image and reboot the device automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy the image, do the install, and reboot the device. So CDO is going to begin the upgrade process for this FTD appliance. It takes you know, quite a while to complete this, probably 30 minutes. Um, the web page will provide updates um, as CDO proceeds. But, you know, when you're doing this in your environment, you know, please be patient. Feel free to, you know, go grab a cup of coffee or something. Um, but for now, uh, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back whenever this is complete. Hey, I just wanted to unpause the video for a second and just show you guys the uh, uh, the progress that's being made and how CDO updates that. So you can see we've uh, done, went through, we've you know download copied the image to the device, checking uh, image uh, on the device exists before the install, starting the upgrade. So we're getting all these uh, you know, kind of progress checks here that are happening as we uh, do the upgrade. And then obviously you've got the ability to abort the upgrade if you wanted to. But I just want to give you guys a little, uh, some visibility into that, uh, you know, the, the progress that uh, it shows within CDO. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again and I'll see you back when this gets finished.